Today on MTG Unpack, we're taking a look at this new Spell Slinger starter kit, which apparently is the best way to learn to play. So I've seen these before. They had, uh, I think it was last year or the year before, an earlier version of this. I uh, wasn't terribly impressed. I didn't even pick one up, but I thought, let's see what they've done this time. And one of the biggest reasons is the price has dropped significantly. So I think these are uh, MSRP $7.99, so very cool. We've got two decks here, we've got two spin downs. What else do we get? Two ready to play six card decks, customized quick start guides. I'm interested to check that out. Magic rule book and a code to unlock both decks in Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay, so that alone is a nice bonus. I don't think they did that before. And you can learn to play magic today. All right, so let's dig in. See if I can open this with the approved method. Ah, a little tougher than I expected. All right, so let's rip this thing open. And is this a product you have picked up before? What do you think? Are you planning to pick this up? Do you think it's worthwhile? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so we get a white and red spin down. So put those over there. Do not shuffle. Flip this card over. See the included quick start guides to get started. Okay, so let's listen to them. They clearly know what they're talking about. Okay, so we get, oh, okay. Two quick start guides here. So for one red deck and the white deck. All right. But first, let's take a look at the Spell Slinger Starter Kit Rulebook. Okay, so welcome to Magic the Gathering. Five colors of magic, there you go. First time you play, your second game and beyond. Okay, so the, I think they guide you through the first game. Okay, once you get through your second game and onwards, how to read a magic card. Okay, so this is real basic stuff, card types. So they're not making any assumptions here. Game actions, casting spells, attacking and blocking, multiple blockers, okay. And a glossary of terms, all right. So what else? Reassembling the decks. Oh, I was wondering about that. So when you Tear everything apart if you want to go through the guide again. They actually tell you the order of everything. So it looks like we're going to get planes, Pegasus, and blah, 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 blah. Make sure the top 12 cards of each deck are in the following. Okay, so they don't guide you through a complete game just to start. Welcome the challenge. Okay, FAQ. All right, so let's get started here. And what is this? This, I believe, is the code to play these decks in MTG Arena, so I'm going to check that out. Alright, so, quick start guide. We will start with red, which is this one. Whoa, and then I'm flinging it around in my excitement. Okay, so start here. Designed to work together back and forth. Okay, so we're not going to do that. But, okay, on your turn, and then you do the draws, I guess. Oh, this thing, okay, this thing folds out. Ready, let's play. And then your turn, creatures, your opponent's turn. All right, your turn. So let's see if I can figure it out without looking at any of this because we don't have all day. So this is guiding you through and then congratulations you've reached the end of the Spell Slinger Guided Play experience. And take your ne next step. Okay so that's pretty clear. They want you to start with this, move on to the Planeswalker decks. Okay so that is for the red deck. Let's take a look at it. And we do not shuffle, and the next step, they should have had a guide to how to actually open it up. So that's embarrassing. Okay, do not shuffle. Flip this card over. On your turn, untap, draw, they missed upkeep, main phase, combat, main phase again, and end. Okay, 
So let's pretend we're going to play. So we get a mountain two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Assuming we don't mulligan. Okay, so you get your mountains. We get a creature goblin assailant. Creature goblin warrior two, two for two. And a fearless halberdier. Human warrior and a hostile minotaur. Okay, so we're going to play our land for turn. I'm assuming we start first. Do we have any one drops? No, we don't. So I guess we'd go to the opponent. Then they'll play land probably. We will draw again. We get another mountain. Okay, play a mountain. And next, let me guess, they're probably going to say, okay, tap your lands. Goblin Assailant, there he is. And yeah, they're giving you plenty of land, so they don't want you to be mana hosed or mana flooded. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing. So that is how we get started. Plenty of mountains there. So what else do we have? Let's start from the back. Another mountain. Fearless Halberdier, Engulfing Eruption. What is this? Sorcery deals five damage to target creature. Okay. Infuriate, pump the creatures. Fire Elemental, Mountain, Goblin Assailant. There he is again. Tectonic Rift, destroy target land. Okay, that's interesting. Creatures without flying can't block this turn. Mountain, so they're doing some interesting things here. Another Goblin Assailant. Hostile Minotaur has haste, so it introduces that concept. I think we had one of those at the beginning. Nimble Bird Sticker Creature Goblin. This one has reach. 2-3 three for 3. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that guy before. Okay, then we get another mountain. What is this? Sure Strike. Pump Creatures. Give it first strike until end of turn. Another deal 5 damage. Alright, mountain, mountain, mountain. Fearless Halberdier, Mountain. So they're definitely interspersing the mana you need. Another Engulfing Eruption, Mountain. What is this? Infuriate, Pumping Creatures, Dagger Sail, Aeronaut, Creature, Goblin. Very nice. As long as it's your turn, he is flying. Flying Goblins are pretty cool. And a Mountain. Alright, so that's roughly half of the deck. And then what else we got? Another mountain. All right, you get the idea. So it's sort of awkward to go through the cards, but then, oh, they have a spicy foil rare near the bottom here. Dracuseth, more of flames. Legendary creature dragon, seven, seven for seven mana with flying. Whenever it attacks, it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each of up to 2 other targets. Alright, so that is pretty nice. Ley Line of Combustion. Enchantment for 4. If it's in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Whenever you and or at least one permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability and opponent controls. Ley Line of Combustion deals 2 damage to that player. Surprised they put a Ley Line in there actually. Glint Horn Buccaneer. Creature Minotaur Pirate, 2-4 for 3 with haste. Whenever you discard a card, you do as 1 damage to each opponent. And for 1 and a red, discard a card. You get to draw a card at the ability only if Glint Horn Buccaneer is attacking. And an Immortal Phoenix. Creature Phoenix, 5-3 for 6 with flying. And when it dies, return it to its owner's hand. So they're showing some bouncing back to your hand abilities there. Shivan Dragon, classic. 5-5 five, five for 6 with flying, pay red, and it gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. And then we've got some commons here, active treason, more mountains, dagger sail, aeronaut, shock. So by that point, you should have so much mana if you're getting near the bottom of the deck. You're probably, that's probably more for the subsequent games. Uh, Hellkite Whelp, so flyer. Goblin smuggler, there is smuggling goblins making sure... Creatures with power to LS can't be blocked. That's pretty cool. Mountain, another assailant. Nimble bird sticker again. Mountain, mountain, whelp. Okay, what else we got here? Smuggler, shock, sure strike, and a mountain. Okay, so that is the deck in its entirety. 
So, looking decent. It's not the most highly powered deck, but you know what? For $7.99, excluding tax, I think it is a decent deal. So then we're moving on. Let's say we're the opponent. We want to look at the white one here. So start here. Much the same stuff, but this time it's telling you to play different creatures. Okay, so your turn. And you can freeze frame that stuff if you want to check it out. And your opponent's turn. Okay, so they bounce back and forth. Your turn again. Where to go from here? Oh, by the way, you can pick up a Planeswalker's deck. Planeswalker deck. I hear they're pretty good. We reviewed a bunch of those on the channel. Alright, so let's dig in here. Take a look. Do not shuffle. Okay. Same sort of tip card. Alright. So, we're going to draw our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Take a quick look. Okay, Imperial Outrider, Bastion Enforcer, Concordia Pegasus, Planes, 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 Planes. Alright. Any one drops? No one drops. Okay, opponent. And of course we played our land first, then we draw. We get a Dawning Angel, play our planes, and then they're going to say, probably get your flying horse out there like so. Alright, so you get the idea, it's guiding you through it. So even if you read a rule book and you had no idea what was going on, that will step you through it. So I think you can't get much better than that other than you know, maybe if you're watching a, a tutorial video on YouTube or something. Okay, so let's take a look at the white deck. We have Safara Sky's Blade, Legendary Creature Angel, 7747 mana. You may pay a white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying rather than pay the spells. Mana cost has flying lifelink on the creatures you control with flying have indestructible. And I have the playmat of this. You might have seen it on other videos. Very cool. Citywide Bust! Sorcery for 3, destroy all creatures with toughness 4 or greater. Sarah's Guardian Creature Angel, 5-5 five, five Flyer for 6, has Vigilance as well. Other creatures you control have Vigilance, so that means attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. Loxodon Life Chanter, and if you had not noticed, these are all rares. The yellow colour there indicates that. Creature Elephant Cleric 4 6 for 6. When it ends the battlefield, you may have your life total become the total toughness of creatures you control. And for 5 and white, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is your life total. And an Angelic Guardian Creature Angel 5 5 for 6 with flying. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, they gain indestructible until end of turn. Alright, and now we're getting some mana there. Planes, Inspiring Unicorn. So pumping your creatures when that. Do the tax planes trusted Pegasus with flying, and let's see, target attacking creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. So that's a nice ability. Inspiring unicorn again. Has the officer pumping creatures. Another. Oh, this is a different one. Concordia Pegasus with flying one three. Show of valor pumping creatures again. So. Do they have life gain here? I'm not sure if I've seen much of that yet. Righteous Blow deals 2 damage to attacking or blocking creature. Playing Caracal, just a single cat there. Planes, Planes, Bastion Enforcer, low end creature. Hazder Officer again, Trusted Pegasus. So I think we're getting play sets of some of these. Planes, Planes, Planes as far as the eye can see. I feel like I'm in Wyoming. Righteous Blow, so deals 2 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Target creature gets plus 2 plus 4 and 2 end of turn. Destroy target tapped creature, take vengeance! Alright. Bastion Enforcer. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain life link to 2 end of turn. Bond of Discipline, okay. Intrusive Pack Beast, tapping creatures, destroy target tapped creature. So the lifelink there is a little bit of life gain, but I'm not seeing too much else. Uh, another bond of discipline. Dawning Angel. When it uh, Here we go. When it enters battlefield, you gain four life. So that's closer to the top. Uh, inspired Charge. Pumping Creatures. Pl Prowling Caracal. 
It's a mouthful. Planes, planes, has the officer, show of valor, and take vengeance. Okay, so that's probably something you would use early on. Um, yeah. Alright, so that is the white deck and the red one. Which one do you think looks the best? They're both pretty low-end decks. Um, probably a minor step up from the free decks you could get from your local game store. Did you hear that? You can sometimes, don't know if they're still doing that, get free decks from your local game store if you're a new player. So they want to get you hooked and then you'll keep coming back for more. Maybe you'll pick up one of these. And I think, yeah, this seems like a decent product. Guide you by the hand. The price point, you can't really go wrong there. And you don't get a lot, but you, I think you do get a fair amount for the money. And leave a note in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.